hello everyone on this video we are going to create a table with the help of 3d sketch so let's start from the 3d sketch first of all draw a line in y direction and now exit from the line command and define its dimensions it's 100 mm so keep each line having length of 100 mm Now join both this line. Basically, in this first step, I am going to create a cube with the help of line command using 3D Sketch. So you have to carefully define its direction in which you want to draw a line. Move it in downward direction. You can also check it by rotating the sketch. It's moving in right direction or not so keep uh, the line length of up to 100 mm and now trim the extra sketch so you have to draw a number of line to complete the cube specifying its dimension again keep its 100 mm now again select line command click on first point and second point so now the cube is completed you can see it's from its different view by pressing space bar now I'm going to delete its dimension because it's creating confusion to us now again draw a sketch from the corner Defining its length is 20 mm from the center line, and uh, trim the extra remaining sketch, which is not required in this. again trim the extra line which is not required delete the vertical lines ok now delete also the remaining two lines click on ok again select smart dimension and define its length up to 80 mm both having same length you can see it from its different view now again I am going to draw a line exit from the line command and again I'm going to define its dimension is 80 mm first line and second line also have length is 80 mm now draw a line and downward direction dimension are playing critical role in this sketch so carefully define its dimension to complete your 3d sketch and 
high moving go curves are in any direction let's define a trajectory where the line is going you can check it the uh, dotted line is showing now again draw two line in vertical position of length 100 mm each defining its length by smart dimension the base side is completed now i'm going to creating its stop side find the length of the line it's 100 mm and 80 mm i'm letting the dimension as showing in the diagram was it sometime creating confusion to us for that and setting its dimensions this line length is 100 mm now match both these points and exit from the line command Uh, now you can see here your sketch is completed you can rotate it in the all side and you can here see that uh, each side is equal now exit from this sketch and choose front plane keep it in normal position and again select a center rectangle and define its dimensions it's 5 mm now i'm going to apply sketch fillet of 2 mm so enter here 2 mm or 1 mm okay now i'm applying fillet of 1 mm at each end I click on okay and exit from the sketch So now our sketch is completed, uh, and after that I'm going to just a base command. So first of all, select the profile and path. So here number of lines. So for that I am selecting continuous line or selecting manager. So select all the lines simultaneously. Keep in mind that uh, no one line is to be skipped here. Again, I'm clicking. Okay. So select selection major. It's not completed because uh, there is some error. I think one of the line is going to skip. So again, selecting all the lines one by one to complete your path. Okay, it's showing some error. Select the selection manager and select all the lines in a continuous procedure. After selecting all lines, click on OK, and you can hear a preview of Swift Base. Okay, now basically your structure is completed with an appearance. So you can rotate it; it uh, looks like same in all the directions. You can place this table in any position. 
I'm selecting plane on the top face on which you want to place uh, any glass or any metal sheet so now I'm again select a rectangle and draw it from the center now defining its dimensions that's 100 mm length and width okay now keep the rectangle in the center and select feature and select extrude base command and define its thickness is 2 mm so again i'm going to edit in sketch and applying sketch fillet i think it's better look with rounded edge so you can decide as per your own choice which one is comfortable for you uh, i'm hiding the plane and i'm going to apply appearances so i'm selecting metal as steel and you can select stainless steel or anything if you want any wooden touch so select wood okay now I'm applying the appearance on the sweep base so the frame is showing steel color now I'm going to apply appearance on the top edge so I'm selecting glass Okay, now you can see that and a number of colors available for you which one you look like then bet for you you can select a reflective blue color or maybe green So it's a, a new design of table with the help of 3d sketch you can place any object at the uh, center or at the behind any artificial thing You can see here a number of appearances available for you. You can apply anyone which you like. These all are the wooden colors. If you want uh, to create a table with the help of uh, wood, so you can see it look like that. It's looking attractive. This is a new structure of table. You can also apply uh, texture appearance. Uh, this looks like a chessboard. It's looking very attractive. You can apply anything else which you like. So now the design is completed. You can see here is the view. It's looking pretty good.